Twitter account. As All opposed right. to Facebook. Yep, stream on YouTube, and then uh, we will post that on Facebook afterwards. Uh, all right, Let me give it a second. I'm just letting letting it catch up here, so I can see it in both screens. And it looks like we are live. So, if you would like to go ahead and introduce yourself and me, okay, I'm the important one. All right, ready? So, hi, I'm Keith McGuire. So hi, I'm Keith McGuire. So hi. Yeah. No, hi. it's not that kind of show. Hi, I'm Keith McGuire, and uh, Mr. Mark Hicks is behind the camera, and uh, we're going to finish up a painting we started uh, many moons ago. Um, uh, unfortunately, I, I took to the sick bed, and uh, we've been gone for a little while, and this won't matter to somebody watching this video three years from now, but uh, just wanted to let the new folks know that uh, we're back, okay? Well, it'd be the old folks that... The old folks are, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, we've been painting on this for three or four sessions, and today's the last uh, wee bit of it. We're going to get it uh, finished up and move on to some other uh, projects uh, that we've been waiting to do. So without finally, further ado... Finally. Yeah. I have already pre-moistened my uh, paintbrush. No, I've actually, uh, I was kind of mixing a little paint. What is left for this image, as far as I'm concerned, is I think it needs a little extra vegetation here and there, some some shrubbery and a few bushes and things like that, okay? And it's not like there ain't enough green in here, but I was thinking, wow, maybe we could pack a little more green in here. So let's go ahead and, and just add a little bit of shrubbery I'm going to tighten up the rocks a little bit and probably call it about quits. And 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 then this one's done. We can move on to some other uh, work. So um, I've, I've got a pretty rich green. I want it kind of in the foreground a little bit and I want it dark. So I'm going to come on this side of this building here. I'm going to kind of set up some little bit of shrubbery. Shrubbery? And uh, all I'm doing is just kind of splatting the paint down, uh, little chunks randomly, so that it kind of looks like leaves and vegetation. So as you can see, it's a little bit on the darker side. That way, um, it kind of pulls it forward a little bit. So. All right, there's a lovely shrub. I'm very happy. All right, um, so I'm gonna move on. Uh, hmm. Oh my goodness, yes, right, right above these rocks here. There's a, there's a place just crying out for more shrubbery. So, so out of curiosity, because mm -hmm. it's been uh, many, many moons since you've looked at this painting, I wouldn't let you take it home with you. Right. You um, wouldn't let me finish it. Nope, that either. You, you like this finish when nobody's looking, and that's, that defeats the whole purpose of this. I know. And it, but it looks really good, you know? <laughs> Look, ta-da, I did it. Ta-da, yeah. Um, so I'm curious on, is it everything you remembered it to be? Is it... Uh... Um, yes and no. Uh, quite honestly, um, to me, the building is... Uh, set at a very extreme angle, I think. And I think if I were to do this again, I wouldn't probably have such an extreme stream angle. Uh, but other than that, I kind of like the, the rolling hills. I like the rock kind of jutting out of the ground. Uh, and I love the rock walls. I've always loved rock walls. And uh, Ireland, uh, I lived down the big island of Hawaii. There was tons of rock walls. It was all lava. And God knows, I, I guess they were just making busy work for people. But there were rock walls everywhere. Um, I know they brought cattle in, but maybe maybe I thought it was just busy work for happy, happy pay, I guess. All right, so got another little bit of shrubbery in here. And I'm going to, I think, push... A little bit of lighter green into this. Uh, just uh, I'm adding a little bit more green to this shrub-like area. 
And I'm going to leave that darker. This one's a little bit on the yellower green now. Uh, okay. What else? Where else? Like I said, we kind of want to wrap this up. So I'm also going to, while I'm looking at things, I'm going to grab a little bit of the darker green again. And I'm going to go up in the hills. Maybe throw just a couple more tiny pines in here. You'll notice I do like a little line. I put a little couple of strokes across the top. And then I start dragging the branches down a little bit as I'm doing it. And it don't have to be perfect. It just has to be kind of look like a tree. So, sorry while I slowly flip this around. Whoa! Yeah. What? Yeah. Now, we were worried about it being upside down, right? All right, so again, just a tiny... Yeah, thanks Thanks for trivializing all the work I do. <laughs> it's me. It's all about me. I told you that. All right, so one more there. Ooh, and maybe... You know what? One more time. Mr. Keith, my belly feels funny. Uh, no, I know. I don't know if this is like Mr. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride when you're watching it. But there, I kind of like that. All right, so... Now I've got some veg little vegeca vegetation, yeah. I got a little vegetation uh -huh. around the building. Um, I kind of like the, the kind of grayish brownish path here, like it's kind of well worn. Um, this little pile of rocks needs to be defined. So I think I used uh, burnt sienna and probably uh, a little bit of ultramarine blue. To gray it up a little. And, and and who makes those wonderful paints that you're using? Ooh, this uh, particular um, tray of paints uh, is, uh, these are Schminky Pan Paints. So, and uh, the set of, I believe, 24. And they're, a, you know, a German-based... Uh, Watercolors, they're absolutely wonderful. The the paint is very, very um, concentrated. So there's no liquid like in tube paint. They have to put something in there to make it liquid. So they end up uh, using uh, gum arabic, among other things, I think. But definitely gum arabic. And so it kind of cuts down the concentration of the paint. So, you know, by doing just pure color... Uh, you get a much stronger uh, value to your paints. And there's a lot of companies putting out some very nice pan paints now. Um, I love Schminkies. They're my, they're my buddies. Um, but before I started, uh, before I found Schminkies, actually, um, I used to use uh, Holbein, which is actually a Japanese watercolor company. And the reason I like them was they had excellent vibrancy to their paint. It was just just powerful stuff, powerful stuff. And now I found that they have uh, been doing uh, pans too. So I'm hoping at some point to maybe do a little comparison between two of my favorite paint companies. And uh, let's not say there's going to be winners and losers, but... But if one of those paint companies wanted to sponsor us, I know who might win that competition. <laughs> nice, nice. Yes, talk to the manager behind the behind the camera. So as you can see, I've kind of forced a little more color in here. And gosh darn it, I think those rocks might need, you guessed it, maybe a little shrubbery around them too. So... I'm going to add a little of that just above the rocks here and in front of the wall. Oops. It would appear some of the paint has gotten into the rocks. And now they have mold on them. Hey, there's a whole subset of people that paint rocks. What a cool yeah. you think. That's what I, I remember the first time I called my brother Victor. I said, Vic, I'm painting turtles. What did you call him before you called him Victor? Yeah, I called him my brother, my brother. <laughs> and I said, Vic, I'm, uh, I'm painting turtles. 
And he was picturing when we were little kids, they used to actually paint on the back of turtles. And he, he started laughing. I'm like, what? You know? And uh, finally he told me what he was thinking. And I'm like, no, no, no. Real real turtles. Honest. <laughs> I'm not, um, I'm not that clever. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it was uh, it was pretty cool. Um, sea turtles. I still, I, I quit painting them for a while because I got so tired of doing them. Every, that's all people wanted for a long time. So I was like the sea turtle king, you know. I'm like, ugh. I hate when you uh, get kind of pigeonholed. It, it, it is frustrating. So, uh, but yeah, um. I've got uh, a new. Yeah, I know. Uh, the, I know the solution to that. Paint more. You paint more sea turtles. You sell them, and then the money offsets the pigeonholeness. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is, uh, you know, prints used to be very expensive, um, and you know you had to send them off to, uh, you know, special companies, and it, it was very expensive pro process. But now with digital and on demand. I can offer a fairer price, and uh, and people can still get my work. So we will uh, discuss that in some other adventure that we're working on. Oh, no, I'm going to discuss it right now. All right, fine. Because if you go to rkmcguire.com, the link is at the bottom of your screen. It's also in the description of this here video. Uh, you can see samples of Keith's work. You can purchase some of the ready-to-hang canvas prints we have. For sale right now um we are working on paper prints and hopefully have uh, that announced you very, know, relatively soon very here. soon yeah um and that'll be an ongoing thing uh and then we're hoping to get some of his originals up on the website to sell as well uh so we'll have stuff for all budgets uh in the meantime keith had mentioned the sminky schminky Schminky. The Schminky Festival. Schminky Festival? Schminky brand paints that he's using, the pan paints. Yes. Uh, he's also using his Lowell Cornell uh, brushes. He's got his arches, 140 cold press. The most important. Watercolor paper. Uh, the most important aspect of watercolors is to use, try to use the right paper. Uh, and Keith's website has links to where you can buy all these magnificent products that he loves and supports and uses on his daily painting adventure uh we make a small small commission if you purchase through his links uh we have a variety of stores amazon blix uh michaels uh so you can use whoever you're comfortable with and who you already have an account with uh it doesn't cost you any more than you did before or just use that as a checklist to go purchase at your local supply center if that's your preference um now i'll let keith get back all right to i was going to say talking breathe. about painting yeah. grass breathe breathe I can't believe you got that whole line out. It sounded like it was all in one, one breath. Hey, got to get oh through God. it fast. They don't want to. They don't want two hours of me plugging yeah. stuff to sell. He's uh, he's actually unconscious now. And so. if you're interested, I have been debating on Keith McGuire bobbleheads and T-shirts oh with his face yeah. on them. So, uh, so leave a comment if you're interested in one of those. We're we're also uh, uh, selling the. Uh, Jerry Garcia and uh, who else? What's um, the other guy? Well, Bob Ross. Uh, no, no, not Bob Ross. Uh, well, they don't have the Seeker one yet. Oh, no Bob Seeker ones? No. Oh, too bad. All right. So if you get a Bob Seeker, you kind of, you know. Well, you got to get the Jerry Garcia. Be yeah, close. get get the Jerry Garcia, and then close enough, right? Yep. So, um, so I added a little more uh, color in the foreground, made the uh, grass a little bit deeper. I've got my little bits of vegetation here. Now, if you look, they're kind of uh, monochromatic in that they're all kind of like one color. What I like to do then is I'll come in and uh, just add a little bit more to the to the mix. And now I have now blinded myself. Um, I've removed my glasses. All I'm doing is I'm I'm kind of dragging up a little bit of the spots and dots to. To represent leaves here and there and then a little bit over here i'm just varying the color a little so it isn't quite all just that same value of green and then i'm actually going to go in and i'm going to add just a touch of red okay i'm um, going to add that to my green wow 
when I said touch I meant touch but it's kind of created a, a reddish brown and I just want to add a little bit of that just to create a little bit of a little bit of you know variation in color on these little bits of shrubbery here because um, when it's all the same it, it gets kind of uh, repetitive boring so I've added just a little bit of little bit of color into the shrubs here and there just to give it a feeling okay and I got a feel yep and I'm uh, a little bit of along the wall here I'll just add a little bit of that just to have a little of it and just a reminder if you are watching and you have any comments put them in the chat we are monitoring the chat and if it's something besides just hi Keith I'll make sure he knows about it and can I have friends it. I have you do friends to to them well yeah okay I might have friends Eugenia K has been watching since the get-go so uh oh who Eugenia Eugene E-U-G-E-N-A that's e wow. Eugenia right okay so. hi Eugenia not sure that hmm interesting name all right, so I could keep going on and on and on, <laughs> but we're gonna. Uh, how long's it been? About fifteen minutes? Um, yeah, about fifteen, sixteen minutes. Okay, so I think the last little thing I'm doing is I'm gonna add just a few darks up in my tree here and here, here and there, just to again give it a little bit of um, contrast. And uh, it, it helps break the tree up a little bit too. So, so we started with a light value, we put some middle values in, and now I'm adding the last little bits of dark that I want to do. And I think, eh, I think we're, we're about done, okay? Really? I waited six parts oh. for this thing to dry <laughs> for you to darken some leaves? I was sick. I was sick. <laughs> Dang it, I really was. I was sick. It, 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 was, it was very uncomfortable. But um, I'm much better now. But yeah, I, I think uh, I'm kind of happy with this. Again, one of the nice things you can do is set it aside for a week. Don't look at it. Then come back. And you can kind of finish off what you're doing. Did I just get blacked out? No, you were blacked out, so I turned you on so they could see you. Oh, okay. All righty. So anyway, uh, it's one of the things I recommend is take a break, set it up on a set it up on the shelf or you know in the kitchen, whatever, and look at it and say, hey, wait a minute, it might need a little little more contrast here or a little more of this or that. It's it's uh it's it's kind of a uh, your last little you know your little kind of thoughts and you know gives you a chance to kind of when you get away from something for a little bit, it, it makes it. Uh, you come in with a fresh perspective, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I'm 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 pretty much uh, pretty much done. Like I said, I might go back in, add a little more color here and there, but you know, for the most part, yay! All right, I say I'm pretty much done, but he he just keeps painting. All right, so I want to add a little bit of color there. So I'm going to say thank you. And uh, anything else, uh, Mr. Mark? Since we haven't done this in a while and I can't remember. <laughs> Shut up. Well, uh, yeah, I, I thought we'd be a little longer on this, but. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you, you like this painting and you want to see more like this, let us know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. That's how we tell if you like the subject matter that he's painting. Right. Uh, we can. A weekend. Keith can paint a variety of different things or do drawings. Uh, we're always open to suggestions. Uh, yeah, we want to do things that help you grow as artists. So, uh, if he had his way, he'd paint dead grass every day. And, yeah, I love dead grass. And a, and a barn in the background. So he made me do. He made me do green this time. Yeah, so, so uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, that lets us know how many people are constantly interested. Uh, but like I said, comments and, and thumbs ups on the stuff that you like help immensely. 
if you have any questions, leave them there as well. Please check out the website, all kinds of stuff. I got to update your actual class schedule still. Yep, you um, can. So if you're local and you're trying to figure out where Keith teaches, uh, shoot him an email, uh, info at rkmcguire.com. And follow him on Facebook and all the usual places as well. Uh, he was doing Instagram for a minute, but you know that's like every six months. You I was something. sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that for at least another month. Uh, yeah. You but can, yeah, you can't use it after this video is done. I can't. I'll, I'm gonna be very honest with you, folks. He's a big baby. No, when he I can't. Feel honestly, good. I can't figure out how to use Instagram. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I have to have uh, my young students come in. They help me load stuff. And then a week later, I forget what to do. So I will try to uh, get my my uh, young students to help me out again. So, uh, yeah, I'll be on Instagram again. So am I, am I done? Are you going to let me go? Please. I'm, I'm hungry. Fine. I'm just going to switch back to the painting, though, because we like that more than you. All right. Good. Center it up in the thing. Just, just tilt it. So there we go. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. All right. Oh. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, like I said, I would probably go in and add maybe, you know, maybe a little bit more, but it's pretty much what I want. Uh, but like I said, give give yourself you, a chance. You, 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 what? The give, whole point of this series was, was that, to finish it. that yeah. you finished it. Yeah. Not, that I'll big, go back in in another two weeks. It's been sitting for... Yeah, I know, I know. All but right. what I'm trying to say is... New subject matter next video. Exactly. Thanks for watching. Exactly. Goodbye.